can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the What is up guys? Rice Kicks and we're back with another video today. We're gonna be going over May drops like we always do. I'm back to bring you guys another monthly drop calendar video. Little something to look for during this month. And before we start the video, let's get a little recap of last month. Last month, we didn't hit too much. We actually didn't hit on too much. We actually got three major W's. One of them is a surprise. One is gonna be a big video. The other was the, I did, we did a live video for that. We did an in-store video for that. And uh, that was the Maui dunks, the Hawaii dunks. And then um, another one that I didn't cover yet was the Jordan 4 UNC's. I did hit on a raffle. Like I said last video, we got another raffle. But uh, those were the major things I hit. I didn't hit on the Jordan 1's like I wanted to. And uh, it's, just, it's just sad, bro. I just really wanted those, those 1's, those 4's. Those 4's were a big thing that I want. And um, I didn't end up getting my size, but you know, but it is what it is. Um, got, a, got a pair secured. And um, you never know, maybe I could flip it and get my size or something like that. But uh, let's get into this month. So starting off this month, we got the Jordan 13 Red Flints coming out on May 1st. These, in my opinion, are another clean shoe for the toe. Not something I would look forward to get flipping, selling. I would, I would wear these. These are actually pretty nice. I might actually cop these for the toe. I do need a pair of 13s, change it up a bit. But um, as we saw, the 13 flints, the other flints that dropped last summer, those went crazy. People went all crazy for those. And that's when resellers actually started reselling. Like that's when people became resellers, including myself. But I never touched the flints, the original flints. These are the OG Gym Red colorway. Up next, we got May 4th, the Jordan 1 Rush Shadow, AKA the Patinas. And now these, a lot of people are calling ugly, but we'll see on release date. They aren't doing too well right now. If you guys want a cop, you can probably snag yourself a pair for 250, 260. They're not too doing too well. But then again, they are, um, they are pretty nice. They're a Jordan one at the end of the day. It's probably gonna be, be end up like the vocals, those bricked. Um, honestly, these would be pretty nice as a calm, like everyday shoe. I don't, we didn't get, I know these came out on one website and people already have pairs. But uh, this is, again, it's supposed to be the Rust 2.0, but it's not really the Rust 2.0, and um, I'll tell you why. But the shoe is a little weird, so I don't know if I'm gonna like keep it or, you know, because you know I do have the Jordan 1 collection that I'm starting off right, th right there in the corner, as you guys can see. Up next, on May 6th, we got the Women's Jordan 11 Low Bright Citrus, and now these are, um, these just loaded up. The, my first video of the year for um, the drops of, of January, um, I saw these on there. Release date was unknown. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be able to wear these with everything. But again, it's 11 low. Not a lot of people like 11 lows, and it's a women's. This dropping actually as a draw. I just saw right now. I'm confused why it's a draw. But uh, that's probably that probably means it's limited. But um, then again, it's also clean, clean shoe. I like the upper. The bottom is. Eh. And then um, up next, we got May 7th. We got the Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blues. Now, these I actually covered last month, but they got delayed and um, they're back. I did get two pairs. One it was a uh, men's, one was GS. I got rid of those just because, honestly, 11 Lows I don't like. If it's a high, I'd keep, but um, I really don't like the 11 Lows. And. Um, it's just, it's just not me. Like I had, the, I have the highs, the legend highs, but they're cooked, and um, I just didn't, didn't need this, this pair. Of shoes. I just actually didn't need these, and um, I did tell you guys if you guys wanted to check out on Instagram, I would probably would have flipped it to, or sold it to you guys, but uh, nobody hit me up, and I got rid of them, and uh, yeah, uh, look forward to that. It's gonna be a calm, calm release. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Up next, we got May 8th with the Jordan 7 Flint. We haven't seen the Jordan 7 in a fat minute. Um, this is uh, a little calm, like gray with the purple iridescent vibes. And um, honestly, it's clean, but I think 7s are bad feats. I honestly wouldn't wear these personally. And I'd probably only wear these on the court. I don't think I'd wear them as everyday sneaks. Up next, we got the SB Dunk Low. X Stingwater Magic Mushrooms dropping on May 10th um, as a draw. These, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed with these. These would have been so nice if the uppers were like a different color 
or at least leather or something. These kind of look wacky because of the red colorway throws them off, but the soles are, oh my God, so nice, icy. These look perfect on a dunk. And um, I'm hoping to see these on a, the soles on another colorway. Up next we got on May 12th, we got the Air Jordan 1 KO Chicago. Now these, honestly, a lot of people are saying they're ugly. A lot of people are saying they're nice. A lot of people are saying they're mids. On um, my personal, my personal opinion is I'm copying these, you're gonna be able to tell if I try, if I can. I've wanted the Chicago colorways like numerous times. I've almost bought the actual Chicago's like so many times. I just can't, I couldn't uh, get myself to pay that price. And if these drop in, if I, if I end up hitting these in my size, I'm probably gonna keep depending on the price and how much and you know. They're actually pretty nice. Uh, a lot of people are, so, um, a lot of people don't like them because they're mids, they're not generally highs, and um, my personal opinion is if it's nice, then it's nice. I could care less if it costs that much. Um, although there are some shoes that, that uh, think my opinion on that, like the, the Travis Scott stuff, like it's not generally because it costs a lot of money, it's just like some of them is nice, some of it's not. Uh, next we got the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Light Smoke Gray, aka the Shadow 2.0. Now these are unknown on when they're going to come out, but the picture of these looks so nice and uh, I know a lot of sneakerheads out there want the Shadows, they uh, just don't want to pay that much. And these are actually the Shadow 2.0s I was talking about earlier. Now these, um, we're actually not sure when they're gonna drop, but again, uh, these would be so nice to have in the collection because you know, the Shadow 1.0 costs way too much and you know, I just can't, uh, I just can't pull the trigger on something that, mu that much if it's just gonna be uh, on my wall or something. Up next we got the Jordan 4 White Cements, AKA Tech Gray. Now these are unknown, they got pushed back actually yesterday. It said that um, they were pushed back. A lot of shoes are getting pushed back now. Uh, these dates can all change, we don't know because we're in a state of time where we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow or the next day. And uh, we did have like a shipping delay and stuff. You never know with Nike. But um, now that was actually the all that's dropping as of now. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I just wanna keep it short. I wanna get like a long ass 20, 20 minute what's dropping, how much we're going. We're not just trying to go too deep into it. If if it's really that hype, I'll probably drop a video the day before, or the week before. And um, that's just what we're gonna cover for now. Um, rice kicks and um, I'm out. Peace.